Hey everyone, John T. Valerio here, and I want to talk about what's going on in Florida with the tech startup and venture capital excitement and activity right now. And this is all my personal, all my personal opinion, only knowledge, and facts, not casting any aspersions. Please check all the disclaimers in the video description and as well. So, it, look, this is my take. I've been talking with, with uh, a number of people, and I have tremendous experience in this space. In my opinion, you can check my LinkedIn, see my background. I don't want to, you know, do a resume drop here, but. You know, a lot of time in and around the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, um, and I've, I've lived in Florida for a while. I've lived in Texas um, multiple times, and Florida multiple times. So I think I've got some insight here, and and can sort of translate and, and analyze what's going on. I'll be very quick about this and hit it at a very high level. Number one, um, is this a Miami thing or a Florida thing or both? I think it's mostly a Florida thing. And I know there's a lot of press out there and activity, and that's great. We'll talk about that in a second. In the second point, um, I think it's mostly a Florida thing. I think this is basically driven by a couple of things. Well, first of all, number one, Florida is like a destination for the world, so people don't really need that much reason <coughs> to go to Florida. Uh, that's number one. And number two, I think with everything that's gone on this 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 you know last year, year and a half, people will realize, or about a year, people will realize that listen, if I can work from anywhere, why wouldn't I want to work from from Florida? But also, the, I think the other thing has been a long time coming. The policy differences between uh, in the business environment between uh, California, New York, and Florida and Texas are very, very dramatic, and that has impacted people. And so, I think people understand that Florida may be a, a more business-friendly state to do business in right now, and I think that that's that's the main driver here. And and so. I think that's what's going on now. That being said, um, well, I will say again, I do think it's a bit of both, though, because even let's say it's you know even a Florida story of all the major cities, and they're very different cities in Florida. You know, like Miami is very different than Orlando, it's different than Fort Lauderdale, different than Naples, different than uh, Tampa, St. Pete, Jacksonville. Of all those different um, in Tallahassee, of all those different cities. Uh, in Florida, you know, Miami's, in my opinion, like the coolest, the biggest name, the biggest market. <clears throat> so even a, a story that's a Florida story, by way of that, also becomes a Miami story. Now, that goes to the second point. Second point is, okay, there's a lot of, Mayor Suarez has done a lot to bring a lot of attention here and has had conversations with these people and there's a lot of activity there and that's great. I haven't, I mean, there's a real focus and a level of activity from the mayor and his team <clears throat> in this direction, and that's all great. But there's also policy choices, uh, and also you know, listen, he's a politician, right? Mayor, you know, mayor's politician. politicians. Politicians do what politicians do, and so I think that you know, and also you know, politicians, to my, best of my knowledge, I haven't seen too many mayors that you know fund deals or write code or or run companies. So it, there's, there's, there's a bit of, of promoting, which is awesome, but then there's also, you know, people have to do the business of making this in, in the reality. I, there's a, the danger is you don't want the sizzle to get ahead of the steak, right? And, and, and some of the branding and some of the, some of the discussion out there, I'd be a little cautious of, and I would probably, in my opinion, even change because I think that it's very important to not overhype it. I believe in selling strong, but you got to sell what's real. You got to sell what's real. And if you just look at the data and the stats out there, you know, it Miami's not Silicon Valley, Miami's not even Austin. Miami's not Seattle, not even Seattle, and, you know, there's a lot of other so but Miami is doing things and Florida's doing things, and there's an opportunity here. Let's take advantage of that opportunity. And part of that is, is, is there will be policy choices for the policymakers, and we'll talk about that in a second. Plus, it's very important to be, you know, to work and collaborate together. That's the way to make it work. So it's not all about just the billionaires and the big stars, and, and that's fine, right? That's great. And listen. If the mayor's done nothing other than, than encourage 
promote whatever to get Founders Fund and a Founders Fund office here and a couple of the other ones. Phenomenal. Thank you. Awesome. But my point is to make it really, really real, there's a lot more to be done and everyone has to work together. And, and you, you got to try to take writ large and, and even, you know, at all levels, the politics out of, you know, out of building tech hub. Like I, 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 I can't tell you who the mayor of Palo Alto was or Mountain Viewer because when I was, it didn't matter, right? So, so, you know, I'll leave that alone where it is, but, but in general, awesome. I haven't seen a team that, I mean, this is this, uh, there's activity here. There's a focus here. That's, it's really great. But I think we, I think we can we can all do even better if that makes sense, right? Third point, as I, I talked to a, in my opinion, a pretty big insider today, someone that knows the players, it's been here for a while, a, a, a mover and a shaker, and we had a, a, a pretty frank and candid conversation, which was great. And um, my point, one of my points was, listen, I know Silicon Valley, and when they they're coming in, they're going to come in heavy. Meaning that, in my opinion, Silicon Valley and New York, I'm sure it's similar, I'm, I'm assuming, is going to, I know New York some, Wall Street some, but definitely Silicon Valley much better. They're coming here to do what they do, right? You're not going to tell them how to do it. They're going to come in here to do what they do. They're trying to be build world-changing companies. They're trying to do very disruptive, hyper-growth type of deals. And, you know, they want the best of the best. They want to bring their teams. They're going to do, they know how to do things their way. And, and also that, that, that's going to have some impact on, you know, the local economy and the ecosystem in, in some ways good and some ways bad. I mean, you know, a lot of times, you know, people look, I mean, I would challenge you, go look at Zillow, see what you can find in uh, Menlo Park, Palo Alto, Portola Valley, you know, even Mountain View and, and uh, for uh, San Mateo for a million bucks, e even two million bucks, right? And, you know, it's not, it's a different, a whole different deal, right? It's a whole different deal, you know, and, and for that kind of money, you could set yourself up pretty well. Of course, there's massive money here too, but it's in, it's more concentrate like I mean you can go and in, in to outlying areas still commute into Miami and, and have something for much less than that you really can't it's hard to touch anything uh, below a million bucks in my opinion from what I recall for anything close to Palo Alto so I, that's a different deal and so you know there's there there's 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 things going on um, in the scene, and I'm not going to name names or put anyone on blast that are heavy. They're really expensive, right? For a lot of people. So how inclusive is that? I mean, again, it's cool if you're hanging out with somebody. So that's this is the balance. So yes, so look how's going to do it. So I don't care. I mean, I'm not putting any schools on blast. I don't care how many videos or how many posts about this school's great, that school's great. Our graduates here. And I say this, you know, with, with all due respect and the best of my knowledge, and I've got to double check. I may be wrong, but the latest U.S. News report will report. I don't think there's a single school in Florida that that is in the, in the top 20 for law or business. Okay, and so, you know, certainly not top 10. And there's some of these companies that are coming here. Maybe they have a satellite office in brick or whatever. They don't recruit. They only recruit in the top five, ten schools. That's it. They don't recruit at, at these other schools. So I think that there has to. You have to understand that when these companies come here, they're going to have a certain mentality. So then, they're, they're, how do you meet that opportunity? They are coming here. So it, it, I'll put it to you this way: it's, There's a difference between doing a conference for Florida and having a conference in Florida, right? So, and that's always been a story of Florida, right? Whether there's snowbirds or people with the third, fourth houses here or whatever it is, right? And so now how do we make that different, 
and, and I think it, it is different and can be much different, but that, that takes a lot of work and that's a lot, there's a lot of policy choices there. So yes, there are, you know, housing prices might be impacted, traffic might be impacted. There's, it's not all positive stories, there's different things we have to work on. But again, there's so much more to talk about here, but I've, I've you know, I did this video first, and it was an hour long, that's why my voice is up. So I'm trying to make this as tight as possible and just headline everything. We're gonna have to go, into, there's a lot more to talk about. And we'll continue this, obviously, this is the first of many episodes. Fourth point, part of what I'm hearing and seeing is some pushback from local community. Like, hey, let's keep Florida, Florida. You know, we don't want to be San Francisco. Again, not to get political, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, to talk about any of that. But obviously, the, the, the worldview, paradigm, whatever, is different in Florida than it is in, in, um, in New York or, or Silicon Valley, San Francisco. And I think part, I'll, I'll stop on that for a second. You know, Florida is, has always been seen as a sort of toss-up state, right? And I think there's something to that in terms of there's space in different areas are different, you know, and, and I want to get a long conversation with that. But I think that the, the salient point here is there's space for everybody, right? And there's someone I think from TechCrunch just saw some tweet out about how, you know, in my paraphrase, Silicon Valley had become really much one way of thinking and very partisan. And that's not cool. I think that's a big advantage to Florida, a balance there and, 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 and an openness. And, and just people just like, you know what, this isn't a tech hub and, and venture capital and opportunities, and it, it, that's, it's, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't, shouldn't be political, right? Part of this too is, okay, how many of these, what opportunities are there going to, these companies are coming here, great. They're going to have an impact on the local economy, maybe real estate prices, maybe traffic, maybe some of these other things, right? And enjoying the benefits of Florida, Miami, and all those other places around Florida if they, if they come here. So how does this, how do we participate in that? And how do we have these opportunities for our graduates and our, of our programs? And, and oh, the other thing I want to say about, about some of these schools here in Florida, the, the best school to my knowledge is University of Florida, which is in Gainesville. It's not in Miami, right? It's not in South Florida. So again, how do we, so I think the conversation in that respect has to be about how do we meet this opportunity and provide, opp provide opportunity to our local residents, our students, um, new grads, all these things. How do we boost up these programs? How do we work together? What opportunities are available for um, those students? Like I can remember, I was at the top law firm in Silicon Valley uh, doing high tech venture capital stuff, um, Wilson Sonsini, Gilbert and Rosati. And, you know, we have you know, heavy representation there from Berkeley and Stanford Law and, and other top grade schools, you know, all of the names that we all know. But there were some other schools, and I don't want to put any schools on blast, that were local schools. And there were some grads there from that, but not many, right? And so, and so how do we, if that type of model is we'll see here, which is what I expect, at least in the beginning, how do we increase those opportunities? How do we increase the strengths of the program school? And, that, and that's a little more of a long-term thing. And I have some ideas there, and I'm sure others do, and I think we have to have these conversations. So the bottom line in wrapping this up, because there's so much more to say, and we'll have these conversations, is look, it's more of a Florida story than a Miami story. Mayor Suarez and his team, I think, are doing some incredible things, but I think that there's also some, some, Ways to improve, right, for everybody, and and we don't do not let you know. Let's make let's focus on making this real and make sure that we're not that the sizzle's not getting ahead of the steak, right, so to speak, metaphorically. And you know, Silicon Valley is going to come in here and do what they want to do in New York. I'm sure the same way. And there's pros and cons to that. And how do we get ready for that opportunity? We all have to work together. That's the bottom line. We all have to work together. And there's tremendous opportunity if we do, right. So. So how do, we, how do we have some openness from those great firms that are coming here to collaborate with 
with local town, local schools, local communities, and, and create more opportunities. And I know those conversations are happening as well, but let's make sure that those are more robust and, and more frequent. And, like, and, and, and likewise, on the fourth point, is I understand the concerns from local community, but we also have to, on, it's not all upside, we have to understand the pros and cons of, of this tech startup moment. And how do we, you know, welcome in New York and Silicon Valley and these other and these other entrepreneurs and venture capitalists to this to this environment? And how do we prepare and get ready? And how do we have something to offer? And how do we all work together? And and how do we work with policy? And that comes back us to the policymakers. So it's a complex thing. It's not easy. And you and and it's not all done in you know, a one month, two months, three months. But I do think there's an opportunity to really accelerate things. And I think there's there's people that really want to do that. And I think that, um, that it's, again, it's much more than one city because different cities are gonna to appeal to different people. And that's okay, right? Because once again, it all comes back. So let's say this great company sets up and the founder wants to set up in Doral, but they can still hire FIU grads. They can still hire UM grads. They can still work with other companies that are here in Miami. And you know what I mean? So, it, and that's fine. So that's why, you know, when I was talking to someone, and, and you know, I won't even name the name, but you know, my, my interest is, is is in South Florida and Florida. That, that's my interest, right? And so, um, anyway, hopefully I'll keep covering this and I, I'm someone that understands both sides, I think, and, and, and I wanna bring other people into the mix, but I think I can help translate this and. And I want to be a, be a part of it, and, and I want to see this thing work. That's my, my main thing is I want to see this, this work. So we'll see. Let me know what you think. Um, I welcome the comments for sure. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Please rate this video up. Also, please subscribe and turn on the notifications. Thanks so much. My name is John D. Villarreal. I'll see you next time.